Alright, how's it going guys? Diamond here. And Minecraft 1.18 is finally released by the time it was yesterday. And it comes jam-packed with brand new terrain and honestly it looks outstanding. But we're not here to look at the landscape. Honestly, there are a ton of YouTubers doing Let's Play, so you can check those out. What we're here to do is show you how to set up your very own 1.18 server. We're going to be doing this with Spigot. However, you can do this for the same thing for vanilla, paper, or etc. However, if you guys want an easy way to set up, I recommend you guys checking out Revive No in the description down below and using promo code DIAMOND in all caps. You can get 15% off your very first server. Honestly, a bargain. You don't have to do any of these tedious steps to install your very own server today. But if you're still interested in creating one, what you need to know at least for this video is we will not be showing you how to port for it. I don't recommend it and I prefer you getting a server itself other than port forwarding. So if you still want to do it, let's get cracking on with this video, shall we? All right, first things first, you're going to need Java 17. Without this, you can't run the server. However, Minecraft did promise that you would have Java 17 installed as soon as you update your launcher and you download the version. I've done both processes and I still haven't got Java 17. So in the same case, I'll still leave a link in the description down below so you guys can come to this page and download Java 17. It's a pretty straightforward process. Make sure you're choosing your correct operating system. In this case, I'm going Windows and I will just do the installer to keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to install this. And just like that, I have it installed pretty quick and pretty straightforward. After that, you, you gotta make sure you choose the jar that you want. Luckily, Spigot and Paper have been releasing their jars very quickly this year, and you can download Paper. However, at the time of this recording, it is on experimental builds, so as it states, use caution and backup normally. But for this case, I'm gonna use Spigot since it's not an experimental, and of course you can use vanilla just by going into your launcher, clicking on installations, and then clicking on the release 1.18. All you have to do is click on the three dots at the end and click edit. And right here, you can just download the server jar itself. But for this case, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below if you guys just wanna use straightforward spigot, but I really recommend switching over to paper once it comes out. And for that, what we're gonna do is create a folder and we're going to name it server. Keep it simple enough. What we're gonna do is drag and drop our jar into the folder. In this case, I already have it pre-named, so it is named server.jar and you must remember what it's actually named. That is super important. By default standard, everyone names it server.jar, so there's no point in changing it for now. And the next thing we're going to do is open app notepad and in here we're going to copy and paste the code that is down below the startup script for it and here all you can see it's java xmx using one gigabyte for the server and dash jar server file name here so this is where it's important to remember your server jar name in this case i named it server so server.jar and that is all you need we'll go ahead and click save and we'll go into our server folder and in here we're going to delete this click the bottom and click all files and put in the name run.bat click save and we can go ahead and close out of here if but before we do that of course if you ever want to change this you can to up to two gigabytes or anything really recommended for minecraft 1.18 so far at least from my experiments is a minimal of five to six gigabytes this is a super heavy version after that you can go ahead and click run.bat and it'll start downloading and it'll start downloading some basic files after that i'm going to click any key to get out of the box because now we need to go into the eula and change it from false to true of course, always read a you super important and you never want your server shut down because of it. So knowing all the rules is really good. After that, you can go ahead and start the server up again and you should even be getting a new folder. You might get a prompt for, for a Java firewall. You can go ahead and click allow access. That's perfectly fine. And you'll see that a ton of new files are being generated within the world. This will also allow you to have your plugins folder. So again, if you want to use vanilla, use vanilla or use spigot. I really recommend using paper, however, as it's really more optimized for this type of server. All right, and as you can see, it fully started up. And if you wanted to, you could add a plugin right now. If you're not using spigot or paper again, you don't have to. I'm just showing you off what you can do. We can go into our multiplayer tab and we can click direct connect or you can add a server. And I'm just gonna type in local host, join the server. And as you can see right there, we joined the server perfectly fine. By clicking F3, you can see we are in 1.18 and it's running just fine. And that's really all it takes to install 1.18. And there you have it guys, that was the whole video right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, if you did, make sure to leave that like button down below. And if you wanna skip all these processes, check out Rehab Node in the description down below and use my promo code DIAMOND in all caps to get 15% off your very first server. Iron that, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'm out, cheers.